just your basic incision for this tooth. You don't need a huge flap for teeth like this. Usually using the Woodson elevator to pull the tissue back a little bit and some of that flaky bone you can just kind of scrape off with your Woodson. Um, either side of it actually works pretty well for something like that. Find the top of the tooth. Now I'm ready for the buckle trough. Just using a 703 Fisher burr here and just letting the, the weight of the drill basically form the trough for me. And I stay pretty close to the tooth when I do this. I like to see if it moves a little bit, and it does. Um, so I know I can section it at will, basically, and not have to worry about chasing the roots. Just going to try a purchase point to see if I can fulcrum it out. And it's still pretty stuck under that thick tissue. So all I'm going to do now is not mess with it too much, just section that little piece of crown off. That'll give it more room to elevate out, usually. Let me snap that off. Awesome. Remove that distal crown, and then I'll just grab an instrument. In this case, I'm using a Cogswell B elevator, and I'm just trying to find a little spot where I can basically flick it out or move it up. And I can, there, right there on the museal, I found a little spot, and that was just enough to get those roots out. Irrigate well, just using a little 4 chromic to close. Sometimes I use interrupted, sometimes it's a little mattress, kind of like this. Um, just depends on the access and the flap. I was maxed out on my iCloud, 2 terabytes for like months. Can't back up my iPhone or anything. Finally, they, they came out with a 6 terabyte plan. Way more money, but I had to do it. Every month.